believe that someone could do that to poor Theodore Long. Yo, don't worry about that, Tori. He'll be all right, and they'll catch whoever did it. Hey, Tori. Cena. Excuse me, Tori. I heard that you were the last person to see Teddy Long before his accident. And do you mind if I ask you about it? Hey, Columbo, take it somewhere else, okay? Can't you see the lady's upset? She doesn't need you accusing her of something she had nothing to do with. No one's accusing anyone of anything, Cena. But as long as you're here, where were you when Theodore Long was taken out? Excuse me? I must have missed the part where you explained to me why I had to answer to you. Who the hell you think you are to come up here and get all up in my grill? Oh, you tell him, Cena. Fight the power. Don't take any guff from the man. I mean... Dude, it's not like there's any way that an angry thug who walks around with brass knuckles and a steel chain around his neck could ever take anyone out, right? Yo, look who it is, Mr. Pay-Per-View. You know, for a guy who calls himself the whole damn show, you sure ain't had much in the way of title shots lately, have you, Chief? Sounds like a pretty good motive for punking out our GM, don't it? So where were you when T-Lo got aced? Well, let's see. I think I was probably chilling out in the back, stretching out, you know, throwing some kicks and reading some comics. You think you were? Can anybody vouch for you? That's my downtime. Just me. R.D.D. I can't believe any of you would ever do anything to hurt Teddy. This is all so awful. What do you think happened? Ironsides. I just wanted to tell you, you did the right thing last week against that slack RBD. I can't believe that walking case of the munchies would accuse me of running down Tilo. Chain gang knows I don't roll like that. Thanks for believing in me, dog. Actually, Cena, neither one of you convinced me of anything. RBD wanted a match, and I gave it to him. And besides, he made some good points. You never did say where you were when Long was taken out. You want to know where I was the night Long got run down? I was in a locker room surrounded by a dozen witnesses. And here's another clue. If you want to know where I'm going to be later tonight, I'm going to be in the ring with you, showing you my five-knuckle shuffle. Man, normally seeing this, you know, he's a pretty chilled-out guy, to say the least. But he's acting a little touchy about the whole Theodore Long thing. Well, it's a touchy subject, Taz, and until we find out who did it, I think it's going to remain that way, even for a guy like John Cena. doing all that fighting over you like that, huh? What do you want, JBL? Oh, I just had a quick question for you. But don't worry, I, I'm not going to accuse you of attempted murder or nothing. Now listen, right before Theodore Long's unfortunate accident, did he happen to ask you about any paperwork or contracts or anything like that? Contracts? No, what are you talking about? Oh, nothing much. Just... JBL, what the hell are you doing? I was just leaving. <laughs> See you soon, Tori. What the heck was that all about? I don't know. But listen, we have a bigger problem. Don and Rob are going to tear each other apart tonight if we don't do something to stop them. We? Why not let them do it and get it out of their systems? Because you and I both know that this isn't just going to be a match. They both think they have something to prove. It's so stupid and pointless. But I need you to be the special referee and make sure they don't kill each other out there tonight. I don't know. It's not really my thing. Please, as a favor to me. All right. As a favor to you, I'll do what I can. Thanks so much. I owe you one. Now you'd better go get ready. Well, I guess he's going to referee the match, but he certainly doesn't seem to be too excited about stepping between Cena and RVD tonight. No, but I'd sure say he's motivated, not for nothing. You don't say no to a chick like that. I'd be happy to ref that match if it meant Tory Wilson owed me a favor. Tori 
kick more harm than good. If you ask me, I think Tori's best move is to just stay out of it at this point. Stop it right now! How do you think it makes me feel? Knowing that you guys are all trying to out-macho each other for me. And don't tell me that's not what's going on. Believe me, I know men, and I know when you're trying to impress a woman. She sees right through them, Cole. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever tried to impress a woman? Well, Parker, I don't answer that. I can only think of one sure way to make you guys stop. This Sunday, at Judgment Day, you're all going to face off in a triple threat match. And I'm going to put my contract on the line. I'll manage whoever wins. And whoever doesn't win, I'd better act like a gentleman about it, or I'll, I'll never speak to you again. Well, I'll tell you, Tori Wilson just laid down the law. Now I've seen just about everything. Can she do that? Can Tori just make a pay-per-view match like that? Well, with Teddy Long now, we've got no general manager, right? Who's going to say no? And with Tori's services on the line, I don't think any of these guys are going to object at all. That's for sure, partner. JBL's gonna notice that I'm missing before too long. But I have some good news. I've convinced JBL to put my contract on the line at Vengeance. In a in an Iron Man match. That's great. But there are two catches. The first is that I had to agree that it would be a lifetime contract. If JBL wins, I'm his for the rest of my career. Don't worry, Tori. That will never happen. What's the second catch? The superstar who wants to sign the match for Vengeance? has to beat Orlando Jordan in a match tonight. Beat Orlando? No problem. I could take him in my sleep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean you'll take on Orlando? Just what I said, dude. You got a problem with that? Yeah, I do have a problem with that. I can take Orlando myself. Right on, that's cool. Tell you what, we'll solve your problem, the way I used to solve all my problems back in the day. 
with a hardcore match. I don't believe it. These guys still can't get on the same page. Now they're going to have a match to decide who gets to take on JBL's chief of staff later tonight. Not just a match, Cole, a hardcore match. This don't look good for Tori. Hey, Booker T, you got a minute? Oh man, if you hear because you think I had anything to do with taking out SmackDown's general manager, you're wasting your time, dawg. Well, I just wanted to ask you a couple quick questions about what happened to Theodore Long. You didn't say that. Tell me you didn't just say that. Look, look, I'm only trying to... I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to accuse me of running down T-Lo in the parking garage, right? I'm not accusing anyone of anything until I've got proof. But I've got to say, you seem a little defensive. I don't see no badge, so I got no idea why you think you got the right to play detective. I'm the five-time WCW champion. And I ain't answering no questions from some punk-ass fool who don't respect that. You want answers? You beat me in the ring tonight, and maybe you'll get some. Now can you dig that? attack from the phenom, The Undertaker. Hey, congratulations. Here I was, thinking a snoop like you didn't have any friends in the locker room. But, it looks like I was wrong. So tell me, how did you convince The Undertaker to take care of your dirty work for you? Look, Kurt, I've got no idea why Taker went after Booker T last week. And if you're accusing me of something... Whoa! Looks like someone doesn't like the taste of his own medicine. You don't seem to mind accusing every superstar on the roster of taking out Teddy Long. But when you get caught red-handed taking out another superstar, all of a sudden, it's a different story. Something wrong with your hearing, Kurt? I don't need The Undertaker or anyone else to fight my battles for me. And if you've got the guts to meet me in the ring tonight, I'll prove it to you. You want to challenge me, an Olympic gold medalist, to a match tonight? If that's the way you want it, then you can face me in a submission-only match. It's your funeral. But remember this, bucko. If that freaking zombie shows up, I'm putting both of you six feet under. Superstars in two weeks, Cole, and notice who's getting. 
my ticket to the WWE title. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, you back here? Did you see that? The Undertaker didn't show up in our match tonight. I was starting to think I was cursed or something, but I... Uh, Eddie, what have you got behind your back? Mm, me? What are you talking about, Holmes? Come on, Eddie. You're known for three things. And I'm not worried about the lying or the cheating right now. What have you got in your hands? The other one, Eddie. Eddie, I'm starting to lose my patience here. You can either show me what you got, or I'll find out for myself. for all the Undertaker's attacks lately. But why? Come on, Holmes. Think about it. SmackDown's got no general manager. It's survival of the fittest around here, man. With the power of the Undertaker, Latino heat's going all the way back to the top. And you can come along too and say, think about it. You, me, the dead man, we'd be unstoppable. I don't know about this, Eddie. Take your time and think about this, Holmes. Just give me your answer before no mercy this Sunday. But I've got to warn you, Ezevato. If you ain't with me, you're against me, Holmes. said, Eddie. I've got a rematch against Booker T tonight. It's a hardcore match, so make sure to have The Undertaker help me out, okay? I'm tired of Booker sticking his nose in our business, so I want to take him out of the picture. Permanently. Yeah, um, uh, about that, Holmes. Uh, see, I'd love to do that, but, uh, I lost the urn, so I can't. What are you talking about? It's right there in your hand. Oh, yeah, right. See, yes, it... You know, I've got a big match tonight against Kurt Angle, right? Well, I just wanted to make sure that the big guy isn't too tired to help me win tonight. What? So what do you say? You're not going to help hey, me? Hey, it's not like that, is it? Come on, Holmes. You know that you can beat Booker T all by yourself. You don't need The Undertaker to do that. That wasn't the deal, Eddie. We're supposed to be partners, but I don't think you know the meaning of the word. I'll tell you what. You can keep the damn urn. I don't need you or Undertaker or anyone else to help me make my mark on SmackDown. What's going on here? That's Eddie Guerrero's locker, ain't it? He's broken into Eddie's locker. What could he be looking for? Come on, Cole, think about it. I don't believe it. He's got the Undertaker's urn. Without that urn, Latino Heat could be in some seriously hot water. Understatement of the year, Cole. Take is totally out of control. But how can 
Marcus P. What's going on here? That's it. Easy there, hombre muerto. Hey, Holmes. The next time, leave stealing to the experts, okay? You might have left the arena with an urn last week, but it wasn't the real one, Holmes. You got a cheap knockoff. Well, Latino Heat kept the genuine article. He had a fake urn, and he set him up rough enough that he could control the Undertaker. Now, I don't know if you can hear me right now, Holmes. You look to me like you're in a lot of pain, I said. But don't worry, your pain's coming to an end. Soon enough, I said, I don't. See, this Sunday at Survivor Series, like it or not, you're going to go one-on-one -on -one with my big dead amigo here. In a buried alive match. Oh my God. You feel the a buried alive match against The Undertaker. This Sunday at Survivor Series. Just the thought of it sends chills up my spine. Yes, I see what you mean, Coach. I must admit his behavior has been a bit strange lately. Thank you for coming here tonight to bring that to my attention. You wanted to see me, Vince? Ah, uh, yes, thank you for coming to see me. I wanted to take this chance to compliment you on your hard work so far this year and to let you know that it has not gone unnoticed. The matches you've competed in over the last few months have helped to determine your entry number into one of the greatest matches in sports entertainment, the Royal Rumble. As you know, the Rumble takes place in two weeks, and tonight's match is your last chance to improve your entry number, and it must be your lucky day. Because Mr. McMahon, in his infinite wisdom, has come up with a typically brilliant plan to give you a choice of matches. You see, if you're fairly happy with your current number, you can compete in an Iron Man match tonight. When it's over, your opponent's number of pitfalls or submissions will be subtracted from yours. The resulting number will be added to your current entry number. So, if you score three points and your opponent scores one, your entry number improves by two. But if it's the other way around, your number falls by two. Or if you prefer to take a big risk for a big reward, you can compete tonight in a triple threat match against the number one and number 30 entrants. Win that match, and you'll get to enter the Royal Rumble last at number 30, which gives you a huge advantage. If you lose the triple threat, however, you'll enter at number one and have to face 29 other superstars in order to win. I love it. That's sheer genius, Mr. McMahon. Take it under advisement for a minute. Let me know which match you want to compete in tonight. Keep in mind that the higher your entry number, the later you enter the Royal Rumble, and the better your chances.